Let's talk about this. And yeah, let's actually talk about the memories of what is happening with Risu and Aikawa, who was Risu's friend, which we saw him previously a few episodes back warning Risu, do not trust these cross-eyed people. These guys are not to be trusted. They are up to no good. And because they can't use magic, they're gonna do whatever they can to use magic. And we find out in this flashback, they have a research facility in this town called Barith. We know there is a mysterious bag and Aikawa, Risu's friend, he's came in? Right? Is this confirmed? So the mystery is solved, but the mystery is not solved. And we know this much. Aikawa seemed to be the person who stabbed Nikaido during the fight of Kamen versus Nikaido in that church. And how do we know this? Because we see just a glimpse of this brown hair. And they also did a good job of highlighting that brown hair during Risu's flashback. And speaking of Aikawa, he has the mannerisms of Kamen. He has the look of Kamen, the same headaches as Kamen. He's good with the sword. So Aikawa is Kamen confirmed, but Risu is also part of it. Oh my God, my, my head is just trying to figure out what is going on here. And then of course, the closing credits revealed a bunch of cross-eyed people saying, it looked like the surgery finally worked. Who are those guys? Are they really important? Or are they just low level thugs who just help in the process of Risu going through this transformation we know they're not to be trusted they don't really care for risu but risu was the first successful cross-eyed victim that this experiment went well with and i think they used them as a lab rat to see whether or not if this worked then we're gonna replicate or we're gonna use the same experiment on our other members because again we know the cross-eyed people can't use sorcery magic at all uh so came in confirmed the mystery is solved right sort of not really it is aikawa but it's also risu and there was also a four-eyed monster during this flashback it was a quick glimpse and there's some sorcery magic implanted in aikawa's head so i think came in has the luxury if we recall a few episodes back, Nikaido discovered Kamen as a headless corpse. So how did he grow a head back? Probably from the magic that was used within Risu. I feel like I'm getting so close here, but they did just enough to sprinkle my enthusiasm to keep on watching Doro Hidoro season two himself. During this battle in the church now, we see Nikaido get a pretty bad deep wound in her back. I think that's Aikawa. Why do I think this? Because we see that mirror and that mirror for a second is Risu, but I think it's Aikawa's brain in Risu's body saying, hey, are you gonna kill another companion, right? And he's like, whoa, what is this? Then we cut forward to Nikaido versus Kamen. Asu gives us the sprinkles saying, should I even really have trusted Nikaido to journey with Kamen alone? Yeah, you probably shouldn't have because the person who ended up stabbing Nikaido is definitely Kamen slash Aikawa. Oh my God. I mean, you guys see me just really flustered here. And now we see the power of friendship again because it's just a very famous anime trope that the power of friendship prevailed with Kamen and Nikado both giving each other a pinky promise to one another that I will never use my sorcery magic again and you and I will be friends. And look at that, Kamen really has feelings for Nikado. Uh, so we'll see how much of that blossoms down the line. And N, I know N was quote unquote the big threat in this whole season, but given the information we got from last week's episode, he's not really a bad guy. And you know, just like Vin Diesel in the Fast and Furious franchise, he's protected protecting his friends and his family because he doesn't want anyone to go through the horrible experiences that he went through as a kid. Through this contract, because Nikaido got the contract out, Asu did inform Shota that the contract only expires during the next blue night, or if N dies, or the wedding officiant devil <laughs> releases the contract and there you go. So there's still some stipulations with that. And I think that's what we're going to see in season two, if we get a season two, right? That, okay, Nikaido and Kamen has to be far away from N because sooner or later, Shota is going to definitely blow his cover as Nikaido one of these days. And I think the hunt, while we try and figure out more of Kamen's mystery, while he's trying to track down Risu in this town, N wants Nikaido. And I know Nikaido.
Kaido's sorcery magic was confirmed that she can use time manipulation, but we actually didn't even see it at all. So I was a little disappointed with that, but at the same time, I'm okay because this finale episode was spent circling around the million dollar question on who is Kamen. Where do you think we're going to go with season two of Doro Hidoro? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more anime content. I'm going to be doing one more review on Doro Hidoro, talking about my final thoughts on the show as a whole. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more anime content. My name is DJ Miles, and as I always say, to be continued, take care.